Good morning, y'all. It's Jen back again with another flip through. Um, this time I made a gratitude journal. This was another one of those projects that I'd kind of set aside and just needed a few things done in it. I um, made this using some upholstery samples. It's really pretty. It's a soft cover. There's upholstery and cardstock layered and then the inside cover is some cotton just white cotton fabric the tie for this one is removable it's just a piece of ribbon that i put on here the spine i covered with a piece of vintage crocheted lace is bound with a three hole pamphlet stitch it's tied in the center of the signature and a knot and then a bow and then the strings are left long so you can add things here's the inside cover this journal I made mostly um, with Artie Mays digitals um, this is from my porch prints I have a little piece of stuff right there I put a journaling card and a piece of stationery in this pocket this pocket is a book page covered in fabric and then I stitched around it this fabric is really sheer so you can see the book page underneath and I only had one little piece of this fabric left and I used it um, all throughout this journal and used it up and I'm gonna miss it did a uh, stencil to rose here added some this is modern trim a, a vintage envelope here that I rescued in here there is a piece of I don't know what this is it's the hairy paper <laughs> and patty Lang and lorna taylor are probably laughing at me right now but the, it's it just it's cottony it's got lots of fibers running through it um some people said that you couldn't glue it down because it melted i have glued this down you just have to be light with the glue it also stitches really well it stitches just like fabric put a little book page here and an image on top this is a Tim Holtz a piece of ephemera from one of his packages uh, my mama sent me another journaling card here that I stitched around this is some uh, vintage trim that I rescued stamped here love this I only have I probably have an eight inch piece of this trim left it's just so pretty some vintage ledger paper this is a tracing paper that I rescued from the 1950s I took a journaling card that I made previously and um, glued it down on three sides made a tag to go in it again this is a uh, Tim Holtz I layered it with a book page and then lace cheesecloth and um, put this ephemera piece die cut on top and then added a piece of trim backed it with Artie Mays's uh, lined paper from the time to cook kit another pocket here with a large tag just put some ribbon here there's the um, green eyelet I did some stamping the back of the tag uh, added some crocheted trim here this is modern here's a piece of that sheer fabric made into a ruffle some more lace here uh, vintage book page some dotted stationary paper 
this is um, modern. This is another uh, stencil that I did, rose stencil, stamp, some more stationery here. It's thin, but it's creamy. And then I added a pale pink paper clip and tied a piece of fabric to it. These are Happy Plant plant cards that I found a whole box of uh, and rescued. And I did trim these down to fit into this book. Um, I think that I'm gonna go ahead and try to de-stash some of these because I have a ton. I did do a little bit of stenciling here on the edge of this page. Folded this avocado dyed page over and made a pocket here. Added some uh, vintage dictionary paper and a piece from one of Artie Mays' kits. Another journaling card stitched around. Put uh, the vintage cards that came with these little envelopes. I used one here for a pocket. And then I tucked a die cut in and just a little piece of coffee dyed paper. Made a fabric flip here that flips up and then I added um, just a little piece of the dictionary page stationery, coffee dyed paper, another piece of that stationery, and then I backed it so that you could write on the page itself. Another pocket on this side, the journaling card stitched around. And this is the page that I showed where I stenciled here and I didn't like it. So I just took a piece of scrapbooking paper and glued it on and then I liked it much better. Here's another one of the Happy Plants Plants cards from the 1970s. And then some stenciling here. Another pale pink paper clip with the fabric. Another piece of stationery. And then that creamy dotted paper. It feels really nice, y'all book page coffee dyed and these are pretty much just the mirror most of the time I do mirror images unless it's a large journal here I made a belly band this is a Tim Holtz I used um, the time to cook uh, pink lined paper to make the belly band and then some uh, colored cheesecloth and that Tim Holtz piece and then put one of Arnie Mays' postcards in here that I stitched around and backed. And that just slides in. Some more of that real pretty heart trim. Here's another Tim Holtz piece of ephemera and another Tim Holtz piece of ephemera here where I tucked it in. And then this is also a pocket back here. And I put another postcard in there. Added some vintage and modern trim. Another pocket here made with those vintage envelopes and a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera here. And in this pocket, I put some pressed botanical paper in here inside of a piece of unbleached parchment and they're just really pretty these are real petals in in this paper and it's, it's thin but it's neat so I wanted to add it in here and then I just put it inside of this parchment to help protect it um, when it was getting pulled in and out of the envelope. Put that back in there. Here's another journaling card and another piece of stationery and I just folded the bottom up because it was a little tall. Be cute to just 
write a little note on an email address or something, rip it off. Here's another stitched tag, some vintage, um, I believe this was either a curtain or a tablecloth. And then another one of the pockets with a um, dictionary page behind the fabric stitched down. And then the back is just plain. So she measures four and a quarter by six and she has 44 pages front and back. She is gonna be listed on my Kofi site. I will add all the links below um, to my shop and to the digitals that I used inside of this journal. I hope you guys are having a good morning and a good cup of coffee and a lots of air conditioning, guys. It's hot. Anyway, y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching.